Hello everyone and welcome to Lebellius Coloring. I am going to be sharing with you my finished colorings for December of 2020 and I also have a couple completed diamond paintings and I'm going to share the whips that I have coming into January and also a couple that I'm currently working on. So in this pile of books, I do have five colorings in them that are from Buddy Colors and yeah, I can't wait to share them with you. It was a lot of fun uh, doing these Buddy Colors, just seeing all the different versions or how alike they were and I think five is the most that I've done in a month so I can't wait to share those colorings with you and yeah, um, I do have to let you know that my son Mason is here as I record so he may pop up in the video or not <laughs> but uh, if you hear him that's my son in the background so I'm going to clear this out and we'll get started. The first book I want to share with you is Color by Number Christmas Mosaic and this is the black background version and it is by Sun Life Drawing. I do have the original version and in that book I started from the beginning. In this version I started from the back. Oops. So I wanted to get the black background one of this version so that I can like quickly color in it during the Christmas time and then I was trying to entice my kids to color with me. Um, I did get one of them to color with me. <laughs> so this is the first page I colored in this book. So you see the four little puppies. I colored it with Bic Intensity. So this was colored sometime in the month. And then the second page I colored in this book is this one, a nativity scene, which could have been a good picture to use for one of the prompts in the Christmas scavenger hunt. And yeah, so this is a new book and you'll probably see it in my Christmas haul, December haul. So yeah, so this is again, Colored by Number, Christmas Mosaic by Sun Life Drawing. The next book is Stained Glass, Colored by Number, the 22 color palette, Christmas coloring book. And this is by Sun Life Drawing. And again, this is a new coloring book. I picked up last month and you'll see in the coloring haul that I will do soon. This is the first page I colored and it's also with the big intensity. I really love the vibrant color. Love how um, it lays down, no streaking or anything because it is alcohol marker. So I always put something behind it. So this is the first page. The second page my daughter started, she started it when um, she was finished with her classes and she was just bored so I asked her if she wanted to color one of my books. She picked this page and started it and then she stopped and I kept asking her before Christmas if she was going to finish it. I was like, you need to finish your page. <laughs> I was asking her, I was telling her pretty much now uh, by that time and because I knew that by the time she got her present um, on Christmas Day, she's not going to have any time to finish coloring it and yeah, she didn't finish it. So <laughs> actually finished it um, just after midnight New Year's Day. I was continuing, continuing it on New Year's Eve. And then I finished it sometime after midnight. So yeah, so this is my daughter's and my page. And this is from Stained Glass Color by Number, the Christmas coloring book by Sun Life Drawing. I do have one more color by number and this one is Christmas Fantasy and it's by Color Questopia and it's the black background. I, yeah, you're going to see this in my coloring haul too. <laughs> so this is the page I colored and I finished this on New Year's Eve on the 31st. I picked, some of them I picked my own colors like the buttons that were supposed to be on the snow. It was supposed to be the orange color, but I changed it to gray. I did use some metallic gel pens for some of the colors, but yeah, it's a cute page. It was nice and quick. So this is Christmas Fantasy Adult Color by Number Black Background by Color Questopia. 
The next book is a coloring postcard called Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson. I actually did two pages in here. One of them is uh, one that I finished this month. It was a whip from last month and I will be sharing that in the January finish colorings. But um, the one that I finished last month, I actually sent it out as a Christmas card and so I don't have it, but I will post it up above in the screen for you guys to see. And so I colored the background first with the Faber-Castell Metallic Gelatos. Those are new to me and I, I was excited to try it out. And so you'll also see them in my coloring haul. I colored in the bird and the tree with Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. I also used white Posca. I used the white acrylic paint to splatter on for snow. And then I also used a couple gel pens, the Sakura Metallic and Pentel Sparkle Pop. I also used the Zig Wink of Stella. So that is my coloring for December from Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson. And the next book is a Whimsy Girls Christmas coloring book, Festive Girls, Fairies, and More. This is illustrated by Hannah Lynn. The page I colored in here was for a buddy color with Courtney. So I'll go ahead and pop her picture up on the left hand side. So Courtney is known as Color Me Spiffy on Instagram. Please check out her account. She has lots of lovely coloring. She also finished a book and I think she posted it also on her Instagram. So yeah, so here are our reindeer girls. So mine is based with Le Mache markers and also with Copics. I think the Copic was just the, the blue background, the sky. I used Derwent Color Soft and also Faber-Castell Polychromos to shade it in. I used a lot of white Posca for the trees and the snow. There is some Sakura Stardust on her dress and the candy cane and metallic Sakura too. And of course the stickles in her hair. Uh, <laughs> The stickles, I actually thought it was a blue tint and then after I put like this part up, I was like, oh, it's green <laughs> and I didn't want to wipe it off or anything like that. So I just continued and just left it in there. So yeah, so this is my reindeer girl and it's from a Whimsy Girls Christmas coloring book by Hannah Lynn. I have here the coloring heaven cutesy Christmas special issue number 68 and this is another buddy color that I did right over here of the I'm sorry I cannot say that H-Y-G-G-E <laughs> Fox Girl but uh, I colored it with Sandra I'll go ahead and post her picture up if it's not up already and she's known as Sandra944 underscore colorful diary on Instagram so here is our fox girl. Love her page too. Very beautiful. And so my page, what did I do? Oh, I based it with the machine markers. And then the fox, I colored her fur parts <laughs> with the Copic Chow. So you can see I did some kind of blending with the orange and the pale orange and then I went over it with both Tombow Erositans and the Caran d'Ache Pablos. I also used the Nouveau Glitter for the white snow in the background, some Posca right over here and also the Zig Wink of Stella on her um, sweater if you can see the shimmer and on the kneecap part. Yeah, so this is my fox girl and the illustrator is Learning Loss Art. And this is from Coloring Heaven Cutesy Christmas Special, issue number 68. The next book is Silent Night 
Christmas Coloring Book by Mardell Rubio. And this one is also another buddy color. And this is also for the Christmas scavenger hunt. This is the page that I picked for Snowman. And I'll put Kelly's picture up on the left hand side. And his Instagram name is Color Journey with Kelly. Check out his account, his gallery of colorings. So you can see that our pictures are kind of similar. This is like, I think the third time. The first two times were like, you know, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I had the same color scheme and stuff. So um, I was telling him we should do a buddy color and see if we can, if it'll happen again. So he got back to me and then we picked this page to color in. And as you can see, it's kind of similar. Um, we did do the red cap or beanie for this snowman. Then we also used the purple and the blue. But mine's more turquoise. And I think he had like one side was blue and the other was purple. But I really love the way he colored it, especially the shadows that he added on the snowman and on the snow. I thought it was really, really beautiful. So his, I know his fairies were ice fairies. Mine were <laughs> orchid fairies. That's how I colored them. But yeah, so thank you so much, Kelly, for doing this buddy color with me. And also to Sandra and to Courtney. Thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun coloring um, these three pages with you guys. So in my snowman page, I colored are based it with Lemache markers. The orchids and the fairy, I colored that in with, or I based it with the Copic markers. Yeah, so just the wings on the fairies. And then I, colored it in with Spira Farben, the Faber-Castell Polychromos, and the Crayola colored pencils. I went in with the white Posca for all the snow, parts of the snowman, and then more snow everywhere. <laughs> I also used the Stickles Glitter Gel that comes in a little jar. I spread that out with the silicone brush. So yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun trying to figure out how I was going to color it. So yeah, so this is my snowman page in Silent Night by Mardel Rubio. The next page, our next book is Kamei Chido, Fantastic Sue Adult Coloring Book. And this one I colored the polar bear. So this is how the polar bear looks like. It looks very light. It's I colored this with all the pencils from the Bliss set of Felicimo Tokyo Seed colored pencils. So you can see already that the colors are very light. But I think the colors, the pale colors, really fit for this page with the polar bear. You can see the colors a lot better up close. I did also use some Sakura Stardust. The snowflakes, I did draw them in myself <laughs> for the background. And I used my um, the pencils to color around it. So it's very, very pale shades of colored pencils. Very pretty though. I really like how it looks on the polar bear. So, yep. So that's my page in Kamei Do Fantastic Sue. Here we have Johanna Bassford's Johanna's Christmas, a festive coloring book. This was a group buddy color. So this page was picked for the whole group to color in. And this was the page I was talking about during my um, advent videos that I was really excited about how it was turning out. I didn't do the background at the time. I was looking up green metal and that's how I wanted the, the leaves to look like. 
and I don't know if it looks like it now. I, I think I just stared at it a little too long, so now it just like looks normal <laughs> or something. But that was my intent for the leaves was for it to look like green metal because I wanted the reindeer to look like gold and then the antler and the ho hoofs to look like bronze. So everything is colored in with Pris Prismacolor Premier. Then I have some stardust right over here and then the flowers right over here. And then on the nose is the glossy accent made it red for Rudolph. The background is the black Posca and then on this part I added the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. So yeah, so this is my page from the group Buddy Color in Johannes Christmas. This is the Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanako Egusa and the page I colored in here is this one. I originally was going to color the same illustration um, but it was like three-fourths of it and it was from the Coloring Heaven edition of Kanako Egusa's works but um, because Shaleen, the coloring book nook, was doing a color along of this spread, I went ahead and just started coloring in here. <clears throat> Actually, all of my colorings are for several color alongs. And if you're ever interested in knowing which color alongs I colored it for, just check out my Instagram. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with this page though the white gel pens did give me a very hard time <laughs> about three-fourths of this page was whited out um, another three-fourths was done with the sakura white gel pen and i got tired of it and i was like i was ready to throw it away <laughs> in the trash can but i put it away picked up my white posca and finished the rest of the white um, the white out of the black lines that I wanted to do. I was going to do the trees, but I decided not to. I just just going to leave it. But uh, the whole double page spread was colored in with the black widow sets from all of the sets. Um, and the background is the apple barrel acrylic paint with white acrylic paint splattered on top. And then, yeah, the uh, little swirls up here. I was trying to color it to look like the caramel lace. Uh, I think I remember seeing those like in baking shows and stuff. But I don't think I colored it dark enough. But it matches the stars, so I think I'm happy. I really like the little penguins and the seal and the polar bear. So... Yeah, so this is my finished coloring in Kanako Igusa's Symphony of Cute Animals. The next two colorings are PDF forms. So this is the first one, and this is from Deborah Mueller's Christmas Fun Festive Girls Coloring Book. It's also the page that I picked out from for the Christmas scavenger hunt. And I colored this page also for the group buddy color and the challenge was to not color the tree the traditional green. So I have blues, whites, and uh, like a turquoise green. So the background was colored in with Neo Color 2s. Um, I can't remember so I write my list. I also use Le Mache markers and Bic Intensity just for the dog here. I also colored it in with Arteza colored pencils. Uh, I used white Prisma to white or lighten up the black line on the tree. I didn't want it totally whitened out, so I just used the white Prisma. Did I say Posca? White Prisma to go over the line on the tree. 
I used a Zig Wink of Stella for the Christmas present. Did I use it anywhere else? Um, yeah, some parts of the Christmas present. I also used it for... Uh, I also used Black Posca for the frame of this illustration. It was a little streaky, so I went ahead and added the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter around it. So yeah, so this is my page from Christmas Fun. Best of Girls by Deborah Mueller. My last finished coloring is this illustration by Chihiro Shiyomi. This is her advent calendar that she sells on her Etsy store and you may recognize it from all the advent videos I did coloring in this illustration. And yes, I'm just so, so happy with how this turned out. I am so, so thankful also to all of you who watched the videos and liked it and commented, especially because it really encouraged me to continue on and finish all 24 days. So thank you, thank you so, so much. It's really, really, really appreciate it. I'll probably repeat myself over and over again because it doesn't feel like enough. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. And yeah, so this illustration was colored in with the Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. I also used Zigwink of Stella, Sakura Stardust, Sakura Metallic, the Ut Uniball Signal Silver Metallic Pen also. And I believe that is it. So this is the last I have to share of my completed colorings in December. Put this one aside. So also in December, I completed a diamond painting. So I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen. It is a diamond art club painting. It's really huge. That's why I just rather put up a picture on the screen. And it's again by diamond art club. The artist is Jeff Haney and there is di uh, glow in the dark diamonds in there um, it's the eyes and the mouth and it was a lot of fun to work on I was just I just wanted to get it done by the time it was the start of winter and I did get it done a couple of days before but uh, I wasn't able to do the post review until a little after winter so <laughs> But I'm just glad it's done and I can put it up for next Halloween. So that is my finished diamond painting by Jeff Haney and Diamond Art Club. I do have one more diamond painting to share with you. Again, you know, my daughter was bored. So I was like, I have this diamond painting that I need to do a review on. Why don't you just go ahead and do it for me <laughs> because I was busy doing the admin videos I wanted to color and I was also doing the other diamond painting so she did this one for me which is the rhinestone tiger and this is by GBFKE and I still have to do a post review for this one so you, this there will be a video out for this so yeah at least this one my daughter finished and she finished it in two days so two seatings to finish this one up she said it was very easy there was a lot of drills left and i like it i thought she would enjoy this because it's very shiny pretty pretty rhinestones you can see that so yeah so this is the rhinestone tiger from gbfke that my daughter finished so i do have a couple whips coming into the new year I have this one by Creative Haven. This is Christmas Color by Number by George Tufexis. And the page I did is this one. And I actually did finish the base. I'm calling it the base. I wanted to do it with watercolors. So I started out with the Faber-Castell Albrechter. But I wasn't satisfied with just watercolors. So I started using the Faber-Castell Polychromos to color on top of it to maybe just like smooth it out a little bit. So I'm still working on that and maybe I'll get it done 
this month so I'm gonna work on this page so this is first one this is creative haven again by George Tabexis called Christmas color by number In this book, which is The Night Voyage by Daria Song, I've had this double page spread that I've been wanting to finish to w and work on, but I just never get to it. I don't know why. And so I'm just going to have this by my desk and work on it um, slowly uh, and hopefully get it done. I know Danny Button has a Christmas color along, I think it's called jolly coloring 2021 that's going to be year, a year long color along so whenever i do finish it i'll probably enter it for hers <laughs> her color along but this is one that i really want to finish so this is one that i have coming in to this new year and i do plan to finish it so this is the night voyage by daria song and this next book which is mine herbs spicer gang it is my autumn walk by rita berman it's a german coloring book i am coloring sorry for the glare the this page right over here and it's using the felissimo 500 colored pencil set forest this is the tokyo seed colored pencils of felissimo and i'm just using the colors in this set to color this page so I do have the next set that's coming in so I want to finish this page so when I do the unboxing of that video I can share the finish this finished page using the forest set so yeah so just look out for that video <laughs> so this is the whip from my autumn walk by Rita Berman and the last book that I want to share with you is Alice in Wonderland coloring book. This is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have a buddy color with Shaleen, the coloring book nook, to color in this page right here. And this is Cheshire Cat Cuddle. And yeah, we're supposed to start on the 10th. So hopefully when I finish the Rita Berman coloring book, I'm going to get started on this one. So check out Shaleen. I think she's going to be doing... She might be doing a video. She has a color along that lasts until the end of March, which is the Alice, uh, Alice along 2021. Um, if I say it wrong, it's going to be the correct hashtag up on the screen and also down below in the video description. So this is a page that I'm planning to color in and have done for January. And this again is Alice in Wonderland coloring book by jasmine beckett griffith so that's it um, i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing which pages i finished in december which ones i am planning to do for this month i think there are still many pages that i selected from the christmas scavenger hunt video and if you haven't seen that video i'll link that up above and down below in the video description but you know there are I think I'm going to try to finish some of those pages throughout the year and use those to enter Danny Button's year long color along. Again, it's called Jolly, hashtag Jolly Coloring 2021. Uh, yeah, I know I can be kind of ambitious, ambitious about all the pages that I want to color in the month, but I like having those pages picked out already. Um, because I used to be the kind where I finish a page and I'm searching for the next one to work on. Uh, in this way, I always know that I have a group of illustrations already picked out as my next project. And I just can pick out from that small group rather than looking at my whole collection and just trying to decide which book, which page to color so anyways uh i <laughs> thank you so much for watching i do hope that you enjoyed seeing my completed pages and i will see you all at my next video please take care keep safe and healthy and many happy colorings Bye bye <laughs>